Jochen Rindt, a name that echoes through the annals of Formula One history, a beacon of talent and tenacity forever etched in our memories. This man, who hailed from Mainz, Germany, was no ordinary racer. He was an enigma, a whirlwind of passion and precision, a force to be reckoned with on the track. His driving style, aggressive yet calculated, was a spectacle to behold. Every turn, every maneuver was a testament to his innate understanding of the sport. He wasn't just driving the car, he was one with the machine, harmonizing with its roar, its rhythm, its pulse. His ability to push the boundaries of speed while maintaining perfect control was nothing short of extraordinary. Rint's passion for racing was infectious, his dedication palpable. He lived and breathed the sport, pouring his heart and soul into every race. Whether under the searing heat of the Monaco sun or amidst the relentless downpour at the British Grand Prix, Rint was a picture of unwavering focus and unyielding determination. But Jochen Rint was more than just an exceptional racer. He was an advocate for safety, a voice for his fellow drivers. His untimely death at Monza in 1970 was a devastating blow to the racing community. But it also sparked a much-needed conversation about safety in Formula One, leading to significant improvements that undoubtedly saved countless lives. Rint's legacy in Formula One is as profound as it is poignant. He remains the only driver to have won the World Championship posthumously, a bittersweet testament to his extraordinary talent and unwavering commitment to the sport. His influence on Formula One extends far beyond his impressive statistics. He left an indelible mark on the sport, forever changing the way we perceive racing. His influence remains palpable, even decades after his untimely departure from the world of racing. Born in Mainz, Germany, Rint's story begins far from the racing circuits of his future. Orphaned at a tender age, Rint was raised by his grandparents in Graz, Austria. Growing up, he developed a strong affinity for cars and speed, often found tinkering with engines and pushing his limits on local roads. This early fascination soon blossomed into an insatiable passion for racing. In his late teens, Rint made his first foray into motorsport, competing in local hill climb events with a borrowed Simca. His natural talent was undeniable, as he swiftly made a name for himself on the Austrian racing scene. Rint's raw talent, combined with an unquenchable thirst for speed, set him on a path that would lead him to the global stage of Formula One. His passion for speed and adrenaline was evident from the start, paving the way for a thrilling career. Rint's journey to the pinnacle of motorsport was filled with determination and grit. Our tale takes us through a series of races, each one a stepping stone that inched him closer to his ultimate goal, Formula One. Jochen Rindt didn't start at the top. Like many of the greats, he began in the lower tiers of motorsport, cutting his teeth in categories like Formula 2 and endurance racing. It was here that he began to make his mark, showing a raw talent and hunger for victory that couldn't be ignored. His early successes were impressive. He clinched victories in prestigious races like the Le Mans 24-hour race, which he won alongside Maston Gregory in 1965. Each win was a testament to his skill, a sign of the potential that lay within him. But it wasn't just his knack for winning that set him apart. It was also his unique driving style. Rint was a driver who pushed his car to the limit, who made daring overtakes and took risks that others wouldn't. He had a flair for the dramatic, a style that was as thrilling to watch as it was effective. This flair wasn't without its critics. Some saw his style as reckless, as a danger to himself and others. But Rint knew what he was capable of. He understood the limits of his car and knew how to extract every ounce of performance from it. His rise through the ranks wasn't smooth sailing. He faced challenges, setbacks and disappointments. But through it all, he remained undeterred. His sights were set on Formula One and nothing was going to stand in his way. And so it was that Jochen Rint, the young man from Mainz, Germany, made his way to the top echelon of motorsport. His relentless drive and unwavering focus were clear indicators of the legend he was destined to become. His journey to Formula One was a testament to his determination, 
a journey that would see him become one of the sport's most unforgettable figures. His relentless drive and unwavering focus were clear indicators of the legend he was destined to become. In 1969, Rint joined the Lotus team, a move that would mark the beginning of an era. As he climbed into the cockpit of the iconic Lotus car, Rint was not just another driver. He was a force of nature, a maelstrom of raw talent and sheer determination. His relationship with the Lotus team was both symbiotic and dynamic. He was a pivotal force in the team, pushing boundaries and constantly striving for improvement. This relentless pursuit of excellence extended to his contributions to car development. Rint was instrumental in the evolution of the Lotus car. His technical acumen and intuitive understanding of the vehicle's mechanics driving innovation. In the pits and on the track, Rint was known for his meticulous attention to detail and his relentless pursuit of perfection. He was the one to scrutinize every aspect of the car, from the grip of the tires to the aerodynamics of the chassis. His exacting standards became the backbone of Lotus's car development, leading to a series of innovative designs that would set new benchmarks in Formula One. The 1969 season was a pivotal one for Rint. Despite some early setbacks, he demonstrated an indomitable spirit pushing himself and his car to the limit. His driving style was aggressive yet controlled, a blend of daring overtakes and calculated strategy. He was fearless, willing to take risks others would shy away from. And it was this audaciousness that led to some of his most memorable victories. Rint's performance during the 1969 season was nothing short of spectacular. He was a human dynamo, a whirlwind of energy and ambition, who left an indelible mark on the Lotus team and the world of Formula One. His fearless approach to racing, coupled with his technical expertise, made him a formidable force on the track. The 1969 season was a turning point, setting the stage for an unforgettable year to follow. Rint's time with Lotus was a testament to his skill, talent, and relentless pursuit of excellence. His legacy with the team was not just about race wins or pole positions, it was about pushing the boundaries of what was possible, both on and off the track. The 1970 season was a testament to Rint's extraordinary talent and his tragic end. The year was a whirlwind of victories and heartbreak. Rint's performance was nothing short of spectacular. His daring driving style and relentless pursuit of victory saw him leading the championship with five wins in his pocket. But the season took a tragic turn during the practice session for the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. The world watched in horror as Rint's Lotus veered off course at the notorious Parabolica corner. The crash was catastrophic and despite the best efforts of the medical team on site, Rint's injuries were too severe. His death sent shockwaves through the Formula One community. It was a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in the sport. The world lost a racing legend that day, but more than that, it lost a vibrant and passionate individual whose love for racing was infectious. Rint's death was a wake-up call for Formula One. It highlighted the urgent need for improved safety measures. In the wake of the tragedy, there was a renewed focus on driver safety leading to significant advancements in car design, track layout and safety equipment. Even today, the impact of Rint's death echoes in the continual efforts to make Formula One a safer sport. The 1970 season was a bittersweet one. Rint's exceptional performance earned him the World Championship title, making him the only driver to be awarded the title posthumously. But the cost was too high. The world lost a remarkable talent, a man who lived and breathed racing, a man who pushed the limits not just of his car, but of the sport itself. His untimely death shook the racing world, leaving a void that could never be filled. Rint's legacy lives on, not just in the record books, but in the spirit of every driver who straps on a helmet, steps into a Formula One car and races for the thrill of speed, for the love of the sport, and for the glory of victory.